A couple weeks ago, Pastor Caleb and I went to Portland for a pastor's conference. We've gone to this conference the last few years, and it's really been centered around all things spiritual formation. So if you're familiar with John Mark Comer, he has been seeking a way to help other pastors, other churches, really lead them on the path of spiritual formation. Now, I'm really grateful because we have kind of been on this path uh, for quite some time now, even as early as, and I say as early, but in 2019, we were trying to really introduce the practices in a really systematic way. And then in 2023, we really feel like we hit something. So we've been going to these conferences in Portland to talk to other like-minded communities, to ask them what is working and what's not working. And it's always a joy. And to be honest, it's kind of an interesting feeling because most people are just starting or a lot of churches, they're, maybe their lead pastor is not necessarily bought in, but their youth group is or their small groups ministry is. And so it's always fascinating to hear the different ways people are trying to work this out. Now for us, we we might have a problem where I don't like taking other people's curriculum or material. I love to create things on my own. So honestly, the biggest way that they have helped me is kind of pointing to some books that they're reading and kind of really showing just a few things that they're trying and we're trying to make it into our own thing. They're in the Northwest, we're in the Southwest. I think there's different cultural issues and, and cultural moments that we are in comparatively. And so we're doing our best to contextualize it for our area. All that said, I wanna show you our website that is dedicated to this entirely. So recently I made a video about passioncreek.church. It's our church website that Brady Shear shouted out and also Justin Nava, he did a whole like overview of the website and I thought it was very kind. A website that nobody is talking about that we have is called formedbyjesus.com. When we started creating these practices, I wanted to find, I wanted to make a home for all of these practices so that the teaching series, particularly focused on the practices of Jesus, have one spot. So if somebody's new, say this next Sunday, they're bought in, they want to start coming to our church. Well, to be part of our church means you're at least starting to engage in these practices. And so uh, this website helps you. So let me show you how we've designed this website and some of the thoughts behind it. And hopefully this will generate some ideas for you. This website is called formedbyjesus.com. Instead of saying, so on our home website, it'll say our passion is to make disciples to who reorient their lives to be formed by Jesus together for others. I call this part of the website our pathway to make disciples. So this is what we're doing. We're making disciples. And honestly, this is the pathway. Now, design-wise, this actually gets lost by people, but you can actually click on even these big ones. Uh, so the Formed by Jesus category, I show what does it mean to be formed by him. So these are three of our messages. It's to be formed by a rabbi, by his love, his lifestyle, and his leadership. And so each of these have their own sermon series and all of that. This is now old. We did this in 2022. But that's what all of this is. And then we give uh, resources, some books to read and get people to the podcast. Uh, let me show you, for example, let's show Sabbath, how we've designed that one, and then I wanna show you a most recent one, generosity. So here, I just use a WordPress, temp WordPress template, Sabbath, the way of rest in a world of hurry. This is the design scheme we used, and we went through those four. Marvy J. Don gives these, a lot of other people give these. These are just the Hebrew word for uh, Shabbat. We really believe it means stop, rest, delight, worship. And so all of these are equaling a message, right? So if I go to stop, it'll show the sermon. It'll give an overview. We think overviews of each message are very helpful to help people understand. We also have notes so you can take them and send emails to you. We also provide a transcript via Descript because this actually makes uh, the website a whole lot more searchable. And then we have a group guide. And so here on this group guide is walking through these uh, practices together. So we hope if, and when you were in group, in your groups, you're actually just doing this, you know, with the group. But if you're coming in later, you can answer these questions as a family. That's really honestly, some of the things we're trying to figure out. What do we do with people who have never done this before? Right now, you could just take your individual path, go through this Sabbath as quickly or as slowly as you would like. But, um, the hope is maybe we find a way to, you know, you th do these again with the new people we have. But let me go back to the homepage for the Sabbath series. And something we do that I'm really proud of, we always give book recommendations, by the way. I think it's very helpful. We always make a guide. So here's the Sabbath guide. And it's actually a full-on booklet that we have printed if you want to, if you come to Passion Creek Church in person. But here, uh, this is our first one. So you'll notice even there's no table of contents. 
uh, on the new guides that we use, uh, pretty much the only difference is we actually have a table of contents because they've really grown to be large resources. Uh, and these are actually created by, with me giving kind of some overall ideas, but mainly Pastor Caleb creating these. And so we have these and these go along. So with the week one stop, we want you to also read this guide and go through some of the practices for stopping and vice versa. So we're actually, uh, yeah, this has been very helpful for people. We give them a copy of this when they're engaging in the practice. And we're very proud of that resource, all custom made by our church. Uh, let me show you the last one. So we're now kind of the way we designed all of this is we want to say, okay, 2023 was all about formed by Jesus. So our, our slogan is formed by Jesus together for others. At its simplest form, it's those three. And so we said, hey, formed by Jesus, there's three practices there. Of course, there's a million. And all of these intersect. And I think one of the biggest mistakes we make in spiritual formation is we try to divide them out. So I am dividing them out, categorizing them, but also stating it's probably not wise to categorize them. So hear me. But when we were talking about formed by Jesus, it was very much a vertical relationship. Uh, we were talking about the three practices of Sabbath, Scripture, and Simplicity. So that was all 2023. We decided the rhythms. We have about three seasons per year at our church. You have like the, uh, you know, the spring, you have summer, and then you have fall. It's kind of like the, the school calendar. And so we have one practice in the spring, and that is in February, which we did Sabbath. That's how we kicked it off. To kick off summer, we did scripture in May. And then to kick off the fall of new school in August, we did simplicity. And we were doing the same thing here in 2024. So formed by Jesus were those three practices together. So now let me show you the together page. Um, and I think it's, it's really helpful uh, to kind of show you how we've organized this. So together, we decided was hospitality, peacemaking, and generosity. And I think we often forget that generosity is very much a together practice. But if you click on this together, our whole theme, our back, our banner this year at Passion Creek is how to make friends and love other people. So all of these practices contribute to making friends and loving other people and all of our other series, which are in the book of Acts, are doing the same thing. So we kind of actually said there's four ways to make friends and love other people. It starts with proximity, vulnerability practice, and then mission. And then I actually revisited this whole topic in the end of the summer. And so we added that vision as number five. Um, and then we added some books for friendship. But let me show you this rule of life worksheet. So what we're trying to help our people with, it hasn't honestly been introduced. So you can honestly be coming to Passion Creek and you're seeing this for the first time. But we want to eventually, pretty soon, have a rule of life sermon series. And that's part of why we went over to Portland to try to get some ideas on how to pull this off. But we want to create just these little simple uh, rhythms. Okay, for hospitality, generosity, and peacemaking, uh, what are the things I can do daily, weekly, monthly, or seasonally? And so we want to kind of create a rhythm, a weekly calendar, what have you, a monthly calendar to try to make sure we're scheduling these three practices. And so, again, this isn't something we have really pushed at our church, but we're hoping to step into that soon. Let me show you our generosity here on, on, on the website, and then I'll be done with this video. Comment below any questions you may have about the things. I'm, I know I'm probably bringing up a lot I'm trying to cover in a short amount of time. Here at Formed by Generosity, we created our own definition. We didn't take this from anybody. I only say that to say, I actually say that to inspire you to make your own stuff. I think if you're pastoring your congregation, I don't know, my gifts and skill sets along with Pastor Caleb's is to create content. So we want to lean into that. We don't want to take away that grace that we have to really uh, use words that maybe our people understand better, to use the tone that we need. And so I don't like to just, if formation is so important to me, I don't want to just make it a quick course that people go through that I have nothing to be a part of, right? Like I want to show this is the heartbeat of our church. And so that's why I'm saying all these things. So this is our definition, living like disciples who trust the God of abundance by giving like stewards who tithe to God's kingdom. And within that definition we created, those are the four weeks. Disciples, not donors. Abundance, not scarcity. Stewards, not owners. And tithing, not tipping. And so, of course, you can click on to each and every, uh, you know, you can click on a tithing, not tipping. You'll see the sermon. You'll see the overview. You actually see a recap. Me and Pastor Caleb share about, you know, what our thoughts were on that. And then, of course, the guide. So we're hoping we're establishing a lot of consistency here. Um, but I also want to show you we have a generosity guide. So the generosity guide is here. You'll notice we actually have a whole, hey, 
you know, don't steal this page, and then a table of contents, and we think it's been really helpful. Our idea is possibly to take all of these booklets at the end of next year and putting them all in one and making sure they all have the same similar design scheme and all of that. And so, yeah, those are the booklets, and you can still get them. We're almost out, but they're still available at Passion Creek Church. And so when they have those, again, you as a pastor or a ministry leader, you can check that out. Reach out to us. Uh, let us know how you plan on using it. Um, we don't. We put a copyright there for a reason. Um, I think just completely stealing all of it is quite unethical. But reach out to me, and I'd love to work with you. Uh, these are the six books we told them to read. Gospel Patrons is number one because it's such a short read and it's very inspiring. Paradox. I can go through all these books, but I'm trying to make this video shorter. These are all six books I highly, highly recommend when thinking through how you're going to preach on the topic of generosity. And so this is our website. Um, we hope that it's clean. We hope that it's consistent for people. Uh, we are tweaking it. We're making it better little by little each and every uh, practice. So I'm very excited. I'm now studying up on the fasting practice. Uh, because that's going to be coming sooner than we realize. And then we push people to the podcast. So the podcast is uh, just a YouTube page that we have where me and Pastor Caleb talk about the sermon topic or we interview people from our church uh, and just kind of how how they are doing with those new rhythms and practices. And so it's been a great way to highlight people at our church and uh, I think it's been a very, very valuable resource. And honestly, I would love for more churches to do this. And I know I am biased, but I feel like this has been a really helpful way to help our church. And I think it's been a really helpful way to help people who are new um, to our church because it's so central to what we do. We want to give a way where if people really are all in, we can give them a pathway to try to catch up on some of these practices. And and we say, hey, kind of start where you'd like. You know, we, we kind of did this in order on purpose. We wanted to start with Sabbath intentionally. Uh, we think it really creates a disciplined rhythm of changing your calendar. And when you figure that out, a lot of these other practices kind of fall suit. So we have all these ideas. Comment below what your, are your thoughts. If you want any more answers to maybe some things I brought up, but that is formedbyjesus.com. We're pretty proud of it. We're really grateful for our church being gracious to us. And just, uh, yeah, we just love that our people are pretty bought in. And so I will talk to you on the next one. Grace and peace. Thank you for watching today's video. This is the video I think you should watch. This is the video YouTube says you should watch.